Women exposed to the mining sector singing in celebration of themselves and their achievements in the mining industry. Women were only officially allowed to work in the sector in 1996. Great strides have been made in the area of employment, with some 72,000 women recorded as employed this year. But more still needs to be done as the total number of personnel employed in the mining sector, both men and women, stands at 550,000. The Minerals Council South Africa says a lot of work is being done to ensure that transformation across the board is impacted through the total mining value chain. One of the key ways this is being done is through procurement. For example, the mining and quarrying sector spent 504 billion rands in 2022 on buying goods and services. And the mining industry strives to allocate at least 60% of its annual procurement expenditure on empowered companies, which include black-owned, women-owned and youth-owned companies. Black Business Development Finance Institution, the National Empowerment Fund, says the mining sector is a critical catalyst for economic growth and transformation and notes that it's lent up to 1 billion rand to small business players in the mining and energy sectors, which has translated to 4,000 jobs. But it says more needs to be done to encourage women to work at different levels in mining, including at more senior levels. More and more research um, shows us that the exclusion of women from economic activity um, actually robs society of dynamism, dynamism and growth. Um, it actually also negatively impacts the bottom line and um, shareholder returns. Acutely aware of the national scourge of gender-based violence, the Mineral Council South Africa says it's spearheading programs and initiatives to address the same, adding that it's adopted a zero-tolerance approach to GBV. To this end, the Minerals Council and its members, which represent 90% of the mining workforce, launched a partnership last December with the National Prosecuting Authority and the Gender-Based Violence and Femicide Response Fund to support gender-based violence response centers through the Tutuzela Care Centers. The message echoing in the room was that it's not only women who need to talk about gender disparities at the workplace, but that men must also actively participate in those discussions across all sectors to ensure that women who have what it takes can be promoted and make their fair contribution to the bottom line and society at large. Nampumela Losiziba, SABC News, Johannesburg.